What's good, Josh? Board Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out ten WWE stunts that went horribly wrong. Now, sometimes when they end up trying to do certain stunts, and this is not just in WWE, just in wrestling in general, sometimes things tend to go wrong. It doesn't go as perfectly planned. This is once one of the reasons why they say do not try this at home, and also that you know uh, you gotta show respect to these these wrestlers out here that are willing to do whatever it takes to entertain you guys sometimes at the detriment to their health so uh let's check this out man uh appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel man y'all go subscribe to tap out corner as well and uh link to the original video will be down down below let's do this thing shortly after breaking up with triple h china appeared live on raw and called out the game triple h marched towards the ring when suddenly kane decided to join them china and kane worked together but when the bigger machine tried to hit the game with a fireball triple h dodged it and china took the attack oh! x-pac would reveal years later while on a podcast that the fireball got too close to china and actually hit her despite being enemies triple h still rushed over to check on china oh! The game was likely very concerned considering he and China were dating in real life at the time. Kingdom Damn. had to stay in character and he threw the game out of the ring. Miraculously, China didn't suffer any long-term injuries because of the botched stunt. Damn. This one will make you cringe guaranteed. In 2003 on Raw, a 10-man tag team match took place. After the match was over, a chaotic post-match brawl broke out. One moment saw Rene Dupree and Sylvain oh, yeah, I've seen this spot. out of the ring oh, and onto yeah. the table. However, Dupree and Savon didn't get Spike high enough, causing nope. Spike's legs to hit the ropes and miss the table. According to Dudley, the botched stunt was nothing, but Rene Dupree and Savon got in major trouble afterward. Yeah. Given how extreme he is, it's not too surprising that Jeff Hardy has done some stunts that didn't go right. Mm -hmm. At the 2009 Extreme Rules pay-per-view, Hardy took on Edge in a ladder match. At Classic one match. point, the two were fighting on top of a ladder on the outside. The ladder tipped, and oh, while Edge had his God. fall broken with another ladder, oh. Jeff wasn't so lucky. His shoulder landed on the floor, which had to hurt a lot. Oh, my but God. because he's Jeff Hardy, he continued the match as if he hadn't fallen oh, off my a 20-foot ladder. Bro. During the first and only... Yo, Jeff... I hope he's doing well. Not sure how he's doing uh, with the whole rehab situation. But Jeff, bro, if you ever see this, man... We love you. We appreciate you. We want you to be well. We want you to, you know, be able to have a life outside of wrestling, man. Yo. The spots Jeff Hardy was doing to entertain us is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Insane, man. He buried a live tag team match. The Undertaker and Big Show took on The Rock and Mankind. It was crazy, and at one point, Big Show went to throw Mankind off the stage oh. and into the grave. Mankind was supposed to land straight into the grave since it was padded, but unfortunately, oh. he didn't make it and landed hard on the edge. I know Mankind or McFoley has taken a lot worse, yeah. but this still had to hurt. When Raw came to Chicago in 2013, CM Punk gave a passionate speech about his hometown. Unfortunately, it was interrupted by Paul Heyman. The best in the world ended up choosing fists over words, but was then ambushed by Ryback and Curtis Axel. Punk put up a valiant effort, but the numbers got to him. Mm -hmm. The assault was supposed to end with Ryback throwing Punk through a table. However, CM Punk missed most of the table and ended up landing on the concrete oh! floor. According to Punk, the botched stunt tilted his pelvis and messed him up for weeks. Damn. Edge and Seth Rollins' Hell in a Cell match was brutal, but this mistake was literally a pain in the butt. After going at it for a while, Edge just this was a fantastic Edge match too. on top of the steel steps. The radar superstar wasn't positioned correctly, and he landed right on the edge. Ooh. No pun intended. Seeing Edge's reaction right after it happened shows just how bad Oh, was. oh my Big Show gosh. and Rey Mysterio faced off in their first one-on-one -on -one match at the 2003 Backlash pay-per-view. While you would hope that Ray could muster out a win, the Big Show's size was too yeah. great, and he won the match. Afterward, Obviously. Mysterio was put on a stretcher to be carried out of the arena. Big I think Sh this is, yep, this is the infamous spot where Big Show carried him on the stretcher and swung him like a baseball bat to the ring post. I want you to understand, this is a grown-ass man. He picked up and swung him like a baseball bat to the steel ring post. Brutal segment. 
Nacho came back and ended up grabbing the stretcher and slamming it into the ring. Oh place. my! However, the giant let go of the stretcher too early, and Rey Mysterio's head. Ba yeah, he floor. fell face Mysterio first. Mysterio revealed he ended up going to the hospital because of the injury. Damn. According to Ray, Big Show didn't feel too bad about the entire incident either. At the 2004 oh, wow. TLC pay-per-view, Dolph Ziggler and Luke Harper competed Rest for the Intercontinental peace. Championship in a ladder match. At one point, Luke Harper went for a suicide dive while Ziggler was holding a ladder. Harper oh. ended up landing on top of the ladder. As oh. you can see, it was a very bad landing. Oh, Luke my. Harper could have easily broken his left arm, but what's amazing is despite the pain, Harper was back in the ring and continued the match like nothing even happened. That's insane. The Undertaker's first Elimination Chamber match in 2008 didn't go perfectly. The dead man got the match started with Batista, but once Big Daddy V entered the match, a production mistake became clear. Big Daddy headbutted the Undertaker, causing him to bump into the chamber door. Someone forgot to actually lock it, which caused the Undertaker uh, yeah, to I fall that. and yeah, hit the ground. Straight the, Thankfully, straight it wasn't through. too serious, but it looked like Taker hurt his arm. Nevertheless, Undertaker quickly got back inside the elimination chamber, and the WWE crew made sure the door was locked this time. Someone definitely got fired because of this. On Raw in 1998, The Undertaker came out to have a match with Vader. During his entrance, Taker was standing right outside the ring when a blast of fire oh, shot out shit. from the ring posts. It looked like Undertaker had wet his hair beforehand, which likely helped keep him from suffering any serious injuries. Oh, wow. He was fine. I have a feeling the dead man let the WWE's pirate team have it. Bro. It's like the Undertaker and Pyro's is not it, They just don't mesh well. But the fact that he stayed in character, like it was nothing. He just moved away and then walked in the ring. Me and you, normal folks, <laughs> we would have been, oh, you know what I'm saying? Would have like jumped back and, and shocked. He, he just moved away, walked in the ring, continued on. That is insanity. On how he just stayed in character like that for the most part. After he got backstage. If all this wasn't enough, The Undertaker almost died while wrestling a match on live TV. To see what happened, watch this video. Hey man, this is why they say, you know, don't try this at home. Lead this to the professionals because even sometimes stuff like this happens man so yeah comment down below let me know what was the most shocking i guess you could say stunt from this video for me personally it has to be um the china one because she legit you can see the footage she got hit in the face with that like flare gun or you know some type of flare gun modified flare gun she got hit square in the face no that did not feel good so that one definitely shocked me for sure but i appreciate all the love and support road to 100k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace